think the project is super timely. House arrest is about the intersection of the uh, power of the presidency and the power of the press. I was also really excited about the opportunity to just even make theater at a time where live performance cannot happen. So the, the playwright also excites me, you know, too. Anna DeVere Smith is an incredible, she's just an incredible person. Ultimately, the show is about a search for morale morality amongst the presidents from Jeffersonian times all the way up to the Clinton administration. But it's also really fun because every word in the play is taken verbatim from an interview or historical record. So in a sense, right, we're creating a living museum. I think what I want people to take away is that the power of the press influences how we perceive people people that we put on pedestals and what happens to the things that we choose not to pay attention to because we're paying attention to what's going on in some of these individuals' personal lives. Of course, to some degree, we have to investigate the morality of the people who we put in power. But at what point does that become a complete distraction from other things that we are supposed to be focused on as a society? I think what reminds me a lot of film is the pace. The pace is completely different. Oh man, we had to rely on, on, on cameras, right? Like we had to rely on, um, on zoom. We had to, so there was, uh, I had to lean into a little bit of that. It's a little bit different than maybe performing or rehearsing for the stage when people are actually in the space together. Structurally, I think we had to make some modifications to even just how we rehearse. For example, our designers have been involved in the process from beginning to end. So props, costumes, all that. Certain things that usually in theater would get added a little bit towards the end. It's not that people aren't working on them, but they get added towards the end. Um, had to happen like day on day one or day two. That's kind of similar to uh, film or commercial work, right? You come in, you get in costume, you do the you do the thing. Well, I've got folks um, that I know from the Philly theater scene that work at Westchester, and they have had you know nothing but great things to say. So when the opportunity came up, I of course was super excited. I love working with college students, so. It, it was awesome when they reached out and said, are you interested in directing this play? And then I read the play and the play was great. I'm like, yeah, bring it on, let's do it. I grew up in a Southern matriarch. Um, you know, I grew up around all women in um, between Texas and Louisiana, and then I moved to California. So it would, I think it would kind of be about, about that. Um, a, t a TV show about that. If I could, if I had a golden goose and someone gave me an unlimited budget, I would literally make a show in, in that would pay homage to to my matriarch.